All right, so I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite things that I like to make, which is fried mushrooms. So we're going to pass through the cabinet to collect any items you would like to discard. So I like these size mushrooms or the ones where it's like six in a pack. And I'm just gonna start preparing, ooh, snap, start preparing this right now. Okay, so first things first, what you always wanna do when cooking with mushrooms is rinse it off. A lot of people, well, I don't know if a lot of people, but I've seen some places on food blogs and whatnot that they suggest you do not rinse your mushroom. I think that's ridiculous. They come from the ground, the dirt. So I think it's best for you to rinse it off before you cook with them. Um, I like to make sure my mushrooms are firm. Um, I kind of poke it when I when I go to pick it. And that's how I can tell if, um, if a pack is bad or not. If you feel like your mushrooms are looking um, if they feel kind of mushy or they look kind of discolored, like not pretty and brown, like this beautiful specimen here, then I don't think you should purchase it. So what you wanna go ahead and do, slice the mushrooms. I like to do mine kind of on the thin side. It makes it crispier when you fry it and it kind of like increases the portion. So this is kind of like 10 pieces instead of like five. Go ahead and put that in your bowl. I like to take out these. Um, it's optional, but I like to take them out. Oop. All right, boom. So now that we have all of our mushrooms in our bowl, it's time for the seasonings. So what you're gonna need is a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of sea salt, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of basil, a shake of allspice, about a half a teaspoon of ginger, about a half a teaspoon of sage, last but not least, a couple shakes of cayenne pepper. Now, what you wanna do is, I'm gonna take your mushrooms and add some cold water to it until they're all covered, just like so. Some mushrooms are floating around in here. And you wanna let this sit for an hour. The least you could let it sit is for half an hour. Two hours later. All right, so this is kind of just gonna be like a make dinner with me video, I guess. So you're gonna get Two cups of water, and I'm um, gonna put this in the in my pan. And I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my water on the stove so that can start to boil. I'm also going to turn on my pan, my frying pan, so that can get hot. And I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my zucchini. I don't know. Recently, I really enjoy eating zucchini with my um, mushrooms and quinoa. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the butts. Um, I, actually, I like to cut off some of the skin. I don't know why. I saw my grandma do it, so oh, okay, I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slice. Okay, so just gonna drop that all in there. So boom, here's my zucchini. So I'm gonna have my zucchini cooking on, on low. Um, you do not have to add any water to it. It'll spring its own water. You just wanna season it a little bit. 
So I'll throw some cayenne pepper on it. You want to salt it to taste. So I'll put some salt on it. Also going to add a little bit of oregano and a little bit of basil and a little bit of onion powder. And then boom. Pop on my lid. And it will just sit there and it'll start to spring its own water. You don't want to put the um the fire on too high because then it'll start to burn. So you do want to keep that on low. And that's why that's the first thing you would have put on because it's gonna take kind of kind of the longest to cook. Now over here, my water is already boiling, and I'm pretty much seasoning everything with the same seasonings, but um the flavors of the food themselves. Like kind of, it, it brings out a different flavor with the same seasonings. It's very, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but once you, you try it, you'll see. So I have my water boiling. I'm actually gonna take out like a little bit of water just to make sure that my quinoa isn't soggy. And I'm putting one cup of quinoa in the pan to cook. You also want to add salt uh, if you want it kind of like rice. Seeds, all you all you pretty much have to do is add salt. But you can also season this the same way that we just seasoned the zucchini. Um, go ahead and put the quinoa on low. And same thing like the zucchini. You want to cover it and let this boil. So now that we have our zucchini and our quinoa cooking. This pan's been warming up, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my oil to it. So now that can start to warm up. And the oil that I'm using is avocado oil. And I wanna add enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Check on the zucchini. Kinda of move it around a little bit. So I have a flour seasoned mixture that's already prepared. But typically what I do is one cup of spelt flour and then it's the same seasonings that I use inside of the mushrooms. It's the same seasonings you want to put inside the cup of spelt flour or whatever flour you prefer but to make it electric it has to be spelt or um, quinoa flour. Quinoa flour is really good with this too and it's gluten free. And here comes the fun part. You want to take your mushroom. I'm going to take this this guy over here. So, you know, you don't have to um, dry it off or anything. You just want to coat it in the flour. I like to um, get a nice thick coating on it. So once you get it like this. Ooh, and it's hot in there. I can tell. Something just popped up. I ain't even drawn nothing in there yet. And then boom. Hear that sizzle? And then now uh, let's just and um, if you don't have avocado oil, grapeseed oil, preferably avocado oil is the best oil to use for frying. So that's the one that I would really suggest anyone to use. Um, if you don't have avocado oil, try and use grapeseed oil. I really don't recommend cooking with any other oil other than those two, especially not canola oil. If you want to cook it for like, I'm going to say probably five minutes on each side because I like mine crispy. And over here, You can give your quinoa a stir if you want. I'm just gonna leave it alone for now because there's still a lot of liquid left. And also, let's check on the uh, zucchini. You don't want any of that liquid to get into the, the oil. I'll tell you that right now. So I'm just gonna.
because the bottom ones will cook. Yeah, see, the bottom ones will cook. So you're gonna have to move them around just to make sure it's all steaming the way that it is. Hey, where are the tongs? You gotta check this one. No one here, I gotta check the whole fucking house. Oh. No, okay, I remember too. <laughs> Why would you leave it up there? That's what I'm saying. That's how I'm like, it should be, but maybe I didn't. No. Anyways, you want to go ahead and flip. It's way harder to flip with a fork. Uh -huh. But because somebody in the house lost the tongs. Here are the mushroom flip. Stir for the quinoa. And to kind of see how much liquid is left. If you still see water. I still see water in, the, in these. You wanna let it cook out for some more. So I'm gonna check on this. You, you can kinda see. I don't know, I like to make sure that the zucchini is cooked so I let it cook, cook. So I'm gonna let that steam out some more. Where was it? So where, where was it? Who was it? Right he had to hop all the way up there. Right he had to take out everything. I, w I was asking them for my taxes. Thank you. There. I don't know what. Oh, I might have been looking for, but it was not close. So what you want to do is, um, oh yeah, because you let that other side cook for so long, this side doesn't have to cook for this for that long. Probably like a minute, maybe even less than that, honestly. You want to line a um, plate with a paper towel. I know I just flipped them, but they, yeah. See that? So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the plate. And I love these so much. They're like juicy, like it's like, oh man. Every single person that I've given to try it, they love it. And I have it all recorded, so I'm gonna put all those clips in this video. <laughs> Don't hear them sizzling. Oh, you see this? Jeez. All right, I'm gonna go make some more. So, boom. A typical dinner from the Burnett Gray House. Typically looks like this. This is Donovan's plate, by the way. So you're gonna put the mountain of quinoa over here. Cause Donovan always gets a, um, a nice big mountain of quinoa. Wonderful zucchini side. So this is steamed zucchini. This isn't a lot, but because I'm making some more, but also Oh, oh, and we ate some already. <laughs> Donovan got up and ate some. I ate some. But I'm um, gonna, gonna add some more of that mushroom to his plate. But this is typically what dinner looks like at our house. The bamboo project fried mushroom for the first time. I didn't consent to any of this, y'all. She said I consented before the camera came on, so it's too late now. And it might still be hot. Yeah, get in the right lighting. That should taste like fish. I thought somebody else said that. Yeah, I thought like somebody. I think Jeremy and Justin said that. I thought Ariel said that. Mm -mm. But it's still bust though. Yeah, it bust. It bust, y'all. Mm. Would you eat another one? I would eat the whole thing. They're slapping. You like fish? I love fish. There we go. Another happy customer. I'm about to try these fried mushrooms. It's supposed to taste like chicken. It does. No, it. it does. Oh, God. Kiss your face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. 
Woche. Oh, 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 oh,